ओके सो लेट्स गो ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक पिछली वाली क्लास में हमने अमोनिया डिस्कस करा था और नाइट्रोजन डिस्कस करा था टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन नाउ नाइट्रोजन एज वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इट फॉर्म्स फाइव डिफरेंट ऑक्साइड्स इन डिफरेंट फाइव डिफरेंट ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स ओके ऑल्दो नाइट्रोजन के पास वैकेट डी ऑर्बिटल्स प्रेजेंट नहीं है बट स्टिल वेन इट इज फॉर्मिंग कंपाउंड विद ऑक्सीजन it is doing so in all the five oxidation states that is because it has the tendency to form p pi p pi multiple bonding with oxygen okay so part oxides hum yahan pe discuss karenge the first one that is nitrous oxide nitrous oxide pe oxidation state of oxygen that is going to be one right the second one which we will discuss that is going to be nitric oxide with oxidation state of plus 2 in case of nitrogen then we have number 3 nitrogen trioxide with oxidation state of plus 3 then we have number 4 nitrogen dioxide or exist karta hai in the form of dimer this is plus 4 oxidation state and finally nitrogen pentoxide with plus 5 oxidation state right so let's go on to let's discuss each of them one by one let's go on to the first one which is nitrous oxide nitrous oxide is also known as laughing gas right nitrous oxide it is also known as laughing gas in this case nitrogen as i just told you has a क्या बोलते हैं उसको ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ प्लस वन ना हाउ डू वी प्रिपेयर नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड ड्यूरिंग प्रिपरेशन ऑफ नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड इट कैन बी प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम अमोनियम नाइट्रेट ऑन हीटिंग अमोनियम नाइट्रेट वी गेट नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड एंड वाटर ठीक है also it can be prepared by shaking sodium nitrite and ammonium sulfate ammonium sulfate in the ratio 3 to 4 matlab three parts of sodium nitrite humne lena hai aur four parts of ammonium sulfate humne lena hai when we get ammonium nitrate right and we are going to get sodium sulfate ye jo ammonium nitrate yahan pe banta hai this is further heated to give us nitrous oxide plus ये जो नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड है दिस इज कलेक्टेड ओवर हॉट वाटर वाई ओवर हॉट वाटर बिकॉज कोल्ड वाटर में इट इज सॉलिबल ओके हॉट वाटर में इट इज इन सॉलिबल कोल्ड वाटर में इट इज सॉलिबल देर इट इज कलेक्टेड ओवर हॉट वाटर नाउ द गैस दैट इज द गैस विच इज प्रोड्यूस ओवर हियर दैट गैस इज कंटेमिनेटेड contaminated with nitric oxide and ammonia and little amount of water is also present in order to get pure nitrous oxide these impurities have to be removed so these impurities can be removed by passing the gas through ferrous sulfate solution it is a very sulfate solution hai this is going to remove nitric oxide right and then it is treated with concentrated h2so4 which is going to remove ammonia and water right so this is how we can prepare sodium nitrite or ammonium sulfate ko we are taking in the ratio 3 is to 4 when we get ammonium nitrite which is heated to get give us nitrous oxide 
ये जो यहाँ पे नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड बन रहा है सॉरी यहाँ पे जो ये नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड बन रहा है टू एन टू ओ इसको हम लोग इसमेंटेड विद एनओ एंड अमोनिया एन एच टू ओ विच कैन बी रिमूव बाई ट्रीटिंग इट विथ फेरेसल्फेट फेरेसल्फेट क्या करता है वो एनओ को रिमूव कर देता है और कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड एच टू सो फोर क्या करता है वो अमोनिया एंड वॉटर को रिमूव कर देता है ठीक है सो दिस इज आर फर्स्ट preparation of oxides let's go on to the properties the first property is that it is a colorless tasteless gas it is a colorless and tasteless gas with sweet smell sweet odor theek hai number 2 it produces laughter when inhaled so that is the reason why it is known as laughing gas jab isko inhale karte hain to ek hysterical sa laughter aa jata hai that is why it is known as laughing gas then number 3 it is a neutral gas therefore it is neutral to litmus which means it is neither going to convert red litmus to blue nor it is going to convert blue litmus to red it does not burn it does not burn itself but it is a supporter of combustion it does not burn itself but it is a supporter of combustion theek hai now when we looking at the structure of nitrous oxide it has a linear structure when we looking at the structure n2o has a linear structure in total it has uh, it has you know uh, it can it has two resonance hybrid structures which can be written as राइट सो इस तरह से हम इसको लिख सकते हैं लोअर पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हम कैसे शो करेंगे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट ठीक है इसके पास सेंटर ऑक्सीजन के पास वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट देर इज नो ऑक्सीजन विच इज नो लोअर पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू हैव फोर लोअर पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो यहाँ पे नाइट्रोजन के ऊपर देर इज गोइंग टू बी अगेटिव चार्ज एंड दिस ऑक्सीजन इज गोइंग टू बेयर अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज राइट बिकॉज इसके जो लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं, दे आर एंडिंग एंटरिंग इनटू टू वॉट डेम दैट इज वाई इसके ऊपर पॉजिटिव चार्ज हो जाता है और यहाँ पे नाइट्रोजन के पास सिर्फ एक लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन होना चाहिए पर दो लोन पेयर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन है इसलिए इसके ऊपर नेगेटिव चार्ज आ जाता है जब इसका हम रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर बनाते हैं देन दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट इज गोइंग टू शिफ्ट ओवर योर एंड दिस बॉन्ड इज गोइंग टू शिफ्ट ओवर योर सच दैट वी है ट्रिपल बॉन्ड ओ सिंगल बॉन्ड ओ सो दिस ऑक्सीजन विल नाउ गेट अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू गेट अ नेगेटिव चार्ज राइट सो दीज आर द रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स वेन वी लुकिंग एट यूज ऑफ नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड द फर्स्ट यूज इज a mixture of nitrous oxide plus oxygen that is used as a dental anesthetic jo injections dete hain when you are going for your uh, to the dentist for your dental treatment so uspe it has a mixture of nitrous acid and oxygen theek hai that is going to behave as an anesthetic उसको सुन करने के लिए काम आता है देन नंबर टू इट इज यूज एज अ प्रोपेलेंट गैस फॉर विफ्ट क्रीम मशीन ना वॉट इज विफ्ट क्रीम यू नो कि जो केक्स वगैरह के ऊपर जो आइसिंग होती है दैट इज विफ्ट क्रीम 
ओके अब उससे पहले तो इनिशियली वॉट यूज टू हैपन वॉज यू यूज टू टेक अभी भी वैसे करते हैं घर पे वेन यू डूइंग आइसिंग ऑन द केक सो वी जर्नी मेक अ कोन और उस कोन के अंदर आइसिंग डाल के वी डू द आइसिंग बट नाउ इन वेरी लार्ज बेकरीज देर आर जैसे फोम स्प्रे की तरह आइसिंग इज पुट इन काइंड ऑफ अ फोम स्प्रे इन विच इट्स ए टम्बलर और जब जैसे आप डिओड्रंस को पुश करते हो तो उसमें से डिओ निकलता है ना डिओड्रन निकलता है उसी तरह से दिप्ट क्रीम दैट इज कंटेन इन दैट एंड दिस गिवस अ पुश दिस गैस गिवस अ पुश दैट वाई इट इज यूज एज अ प्रॉब्लेंट ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट ऑक्साइड लेट्स गो ऑन टू द सेकेंड ऑक्साइड विच इज नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड और राइट सो वेन वी गोइंग टू नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड In case of nitric oxide, as we just say, the oxidation state of nitrogen that is going to be plus two. ठीक है? Now preparation जब हम इसकी करते हैं, it is prepared by reacting copper with nitric acid. To give us कॉपर नाइट्रेट प्लस टू एन ओ प्लस फोर एच टू ठीक है सो इस तरह से हम लोग इसको प्रिपेयर करते हैं ना ओवर हियर ऑल्सो द लिबरेटेड गैस दैट इज कंटेमिनेटेड विद The liberated gas that is contaminated with nitrogen dioxide and nitrous oxide, right? These are the impurities. Or, इसको हम लोग किस तरह से remove करेंगे? They can be removed by treating the gas with aqueous paracetamol solution. ओके, सो इसके साथ ट्रीट करके हम लोग इसको रिमूव कर सकते हैं ना ओवर हियर द नाइट्रिक एसिड एक तो ये प्रेपरेशन हो गई बट समटाइम्स व्हाट हैपेंस कि हम लोग प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं वी प्रिपेयरिंग सम अदर मटेरियल बट दिस नाइट्रिक एसिड दैट इज व्हाट एज अ ड्राई प्रोडक्ट राइट जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ड्यूरिंग प्रेपरेशन ऑफ During preparation of uh, nitric acid, during the preparation of nitric acid by two methods. The first one is the electric arc process. During electric arc process. This is 
going to be sparingly soluble in water. Number three, it is paramagnetic. We will just, when we are looking at the structure, we will see that it has one single electron as a result of which it is going to behave as paramagnetic and it is a neutral gas which again means that it is neither going to convert red litmus to blue, neither blue litmus to red. ठीक है और nitrogen के साथ जब ये react करता है nitric oxide, it is going to give us brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. It is going to give us brown fumes of nitrogen dioxide. ठीक है uses is ki kya hai? It is used in the manufacture of nitric acid. So, ye wale jo dono methods hamne kare hai, this one electric arc method and Oswald process, these are basically processes for the manufacture of nitric acid. So, ye yaha pe use hota hai nitric oxide to form nitric acid. Okay? This is the first use. Then the second use is that it is used as a catalyst for preparation of H2SO4 in lead chamber process. Catalyst for preparation of H2SO4 in the lead chamber process. Okay? Now let's see structure of the structure and let's see how it is paramagnetic in nature. Structure of nitric oxide. When we are looking at the structure of nitric oxide, again it has a resonant stabilized structures. In this case, there are in total 11 electrons present. So, when we pairing karenge inki, 11 electrons, ki, so even then we will see that only 10 electrons can be paired or one electron which will be a single electron. Us one electron ki se, it is going to behave paramagnetically. So, let's see what is the structure. So, over here, this is a single electron which is present. What are we saying in total 11 electrons? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. Right? 11 electrons are going to be present. So, this is a single electron which is it is going to be paramagnetic in nature. Now, when we are drawing the resonating structures, we have a negative charge over here. And we are going to have a positive charge on this. Resonating structure mein ab kya hoga? that we are going to get two electron pairs on nitrogen. So now oxygen will get a positive charge and nitrogen is going to get a negative charge. Hai? And then we also have a neutral molecule. Nitrogen 
Now when we looking at this, let's go on to the preparation first. किस तरह से हम इसको prepare करते हैं? It is prepared by the reduction of HNO3 by AS2O3. Arsenic oxide के साथ हम इसे react करेंगे. So we have arsenic oxide plus nitric acid. The reaction takes place. In presence of water to give us right arsenic acid plus we are going to get nitrogen trioxide. Right now we say that nitrogen trioxide it is known in the pure state in the solid form. At very low temperature, in the vapor state, so solid state may it exists as N2O3 at low temperature, okay? But in the vapor state, it is a equimolar mixture of NO and NO2. It is a equimolar mixture of NO and NO2. But in the solid state, it is going to exist as N2O3 at low temperature. Right? Now, when we are looking at the properties, properties of nitric tri nitrogen trioxide, it condenses to a blue colored liquid at minus 30 degrees centigrade. So, we are saying at minus 30 degrees centigrade, it is going to exist as a blue blue colored liquid. Okay, at minus 30 degrees centigrade. And room temperature, pe, when we put it in the evaporate hota hai, then it is going to exist as an equimolar mixture of NO and NO, and, uh, NO2. So we have N2O3 at room temperature, it is going to exist as an equimolar mixture of NO plus NO2. Clear? Now over here, it is an acidic oxide. Abhi tak humne sare neutral kare the. So we have studied this as the oxidation number of nitrogen is going to increase. The acidic character will also increase. So this is going to behave as an acidic oxide. Acidic oxide ka matlab when we react just with water, it is going to give us nitrous acid, 2HNO2. That is why it is known as acidic oxide. Right? Structure is ka kya hai? When we looking at the structure, it is going to be a resonant hybrid of the following structures. So we have N2O3. Okay. Ab isme we have four electrons over here. One lone pair of electrons over here. Is ke upar koi bhi electron nahi hai. So this will get a positive charge. Yaha pe char electrons ho gai. And this is going to have six electrons. Thik hai? Now is ka jo resonance hybrid ho ga, That is going to be N. So we have again one lone pair of electrons here, four here, positive charge here, six electrons here and four electrons here. So these are going to be the resonating structures, right? The next we go on to NO2 in the plus four oxidation state, N2O4, this is a dimer of nitrogen dioxide. In this case, nitrogen that is present in 
प्लस फोर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ठीक है अब जब हम लोग यहां पे करेंगे ऑक्सीडेशन नंबर इसका प्लस फोर आ गया तो इट इज जेनरली सीन दैट एट वेरी लो टेम्परेचर से एट अ टेम्परेचर ऑफ माइनस इलेवन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड एनओ टू कन्वर्ट इन टू इट्स डायमर एन टू ओ फोर ओवर हियर एनओ टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ब्राउन इन कलर वेर एज एन टू ओ फोर इज कलरलेस अगेन द ब्राउन कलर ऑफ दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ वन अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रेजेंट विच वी विल डू इन इज स्ट्रक्चर लेट्स गो ऑन टू द प्रेपरेशन कैन बी प्रिपेयर बाय नॉर्मली हीटिंग द नाइट्रेट जैसे हम लोग इफ यू हीटिंग लेट नाइट्रेट इट इज गोइंग टू गिव अ ब्राउन कलर गैस विच इज नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड प्रॉपर्टीज अगर हम इसकी देखें Number one, it is a brown colored gas. Weight of pungent smell. ठीक है? It is a brown colored gas with a pungent smell. Number two. At high temperature of six hundred and twenty degrees, at six hundred and twenty degrees, it decomposes into nitric oxide and oxygen. At a high temperature of six twenty degrees centigrade, okay. On reaction with water, it gives us a mixture of nitrous acid and nitric acid jo water ke sath isko react karte hain gives us a mixture of nitric acid and nitrous acid that is why it is known as mixed hydride क्योंकि ये दो डिफरेंट तरह के एसिड्स देता है तो दिस इज नोन एज मिक्स्ड हाइड्राइड सॉरी मिक्स्ड एंड हाइड्राइड मिक्स्ड एंड हाइड्राइड राइट व्हेन इट इज रिएक्टिंग विद वॉम वाटर विद कोल्ड वाटर वी हैव सीन द रिएक्शन अब विद वॉम वाटर इट इज गोइंग टू गिव ओनली नाइट्रिक एसिड सो वी हैव warm water it will give only nitric acid and with cold water it is going to give us a mixture of nitrous acid and nitric acid theek hai let's go on to the uses uses jab uses karte hain it is used for the manufacture of nitric acid by Oswald's process. ठीक है नंबर टू इट इज यूज एज अटलिस्ट फॉर प्रेपरेशन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड प्रेपरेशन ऑफ सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड तो ये इसके यूजेस हैं। लेट्स गो ऑन टू द स्ट्रक्चर दिस ऑल्सो हैज अ सिंगलेट इलेक्ट्रोड सिंगलेट इलेक्ट्रॉन इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस सो वेन वी लुकिंग एट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दिस इट हैज अ बेंट स्ट्रक्चर राइट सो इस तरह से इसका स्ट्रक्चर रहता है वी हैव अ नेगेटिव चार्ज एंड वी हैव अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन नाइट्रोजन 
सिमिलरली इसका जो रेजोनेटिंग स्ट्रक्चर रहेगा दैट इज गोइंग टू बी एम नेगेटिव चार्ज ऑन दिस एंड पॉजिटिव चार्ज ऑन दिस ठीक है Now when it is going to form a dimer, why does it form a dimer first of all? Because of the single electron which is present on this nitrogen, the structure is quite unstable and it has the tendency or ability to form bond with another molecule of nitrogen dioxide to form a pair between these two, right? So sharing of these two is going to take place. So when we are looking at the structure of N2O4. negative charge on this positive charge on this positive charge on this and we have six electrons negative charge on this and four electrons remember that electrically the molecule should always be neutral so as there are two positive charges over here there have to be two negative charges theek okay? hai and the oxygen which has more than four electrons is going to bear a negative charge oxygen less than four electrons is going to bear a positive charge similarly nitrogen does has if nitrogen has more than one lone pair of electrons it is going to bear a negative charge and it, it if it does not have any pair of electrons then it is going to have a positive charge theek okay? hai so we have is nitrogen or is nitrogen ke upar koi bhi lone pair of electrons present nahi hai that is why they are getting positive charges iske upar six electrons hai to negative charge iske upar four electrons to koi bhi charge nahi got it okay so iska jo resonating structure banega wo kaisa banega negative charge on this positive charge on this positive charge on this and so okay then we come to the last oxide in the plus 5 oxidation state which is nitrogen pentoxide n2o5 nitrogen pentoxide the oxidation state of nitrogen in this case is going to be plus 5 it is known as nitric anhydride theek hai it is prepared by reacting p2o5 we take p2o5 and we pour slowly nitric acid over it when we are going to get nitrogen pentoxide when we looking at the properties we see that it is a white crystalline solid white crystalline solid but on heating it decomposes to yellow liquid and on further heating it decomposes to a brown gas which is nitrogen dioxide right white crystalline hota hai to jab hum heat karte hain to yellow liquid mein convert hota hai aur fir uske baad wo convert hota hai into a brown gas which is nitrogen dioxide it is an acidic oxide acidic oxide as when treated with water it is going to give us nitric oxide uh, nitric acid theek hai kyunki ye nitric acid de raha hai so therefore it is going to be an acidic oxide structure jab hum iska dekhte hain it has a bridging oxygen
This is going to be the structure. So let's put the lone pair of electrons. This cube for two are there. This cube for positive and positive charge are there. This will have six electrons with a negative charge. This will have four electrons with no charge. This will have four electrons. Okay. And this is going to have six electrons with a negative charge. Okay. Or when we make a resonating structure, we will make. This is going to be the resonating structure. So again, we have four electrons here. Okay, we have six electrons here with a positive charge. Four electrons here. Six electrons here with a negative charge, and we have four electrons here. Right. So these are the oxides of nitrogen, and today we are going to only do till here. So nitrogen, we are left with only one topic now: oxa acids of nitrogen, which we will complete in the next class, and go off to phosphorus, the next element of group fifteen. Okay.